Okay, this is our last video. Uh, this is part five, and in this segment, we're going to learn how to deploy the application that we built previously onto our EC2 instance. There's one more configuration that we have to do prior to our deployment. Um, so we're going to come to the console, go to your JDT resources, and copy this JMBI name that we defined. Go back to the application, double click on the application module, go to configuration, click edit. Um, and we are going to remove this prefix and replace this value with the JMBI um, name value that we define on the glass disk there. And click OK. Now that we've tested our application with some of the embedded web logic against the um, cloud based SQL data source, uh, we're very close. So we're going to go ahead and try to deploy the application. And before we do that, I am going to modify the deployment descriptor, um, specifically just uh, rename these um, your file names just so that it's a little bit easier to remember. Uh, EC2 test is going to be the name of my ear file, and EC2 test is going to be the application. Okay, and also in platform, make sure that Glassfish, which one is selected. Say OK. And then now we are ready to deploy. Deploy to the application server. That's the default one. Go ahead and attempt to do the deployment. Finally, after 13 minutes, the deployment completed. Um, and the best way to test this is just go open up the browser and type in the URL. This is the DNS for 8080, followed by the controller, spaces. And the name of the page in this instance, s.jsx. And there you go. This will display exactly the same result as our embedded web logic um, running example. Okay, as I was doing a test deployment, I noticed I was taking a really long time for it to complete. Um, so I did a little test to see that it took about 13 minutes to upload the file to the server. Um, the file size is about um, 90 meg. So, um, you know, if you do get some full responses, I would recommend, uh, you know, trying to FTP your file over to get an idea of uh, how long it would take. And unfortunately, I have sucky Time Warner for my cable connection. I was only getting about 100 kilobytes uh, per second. So, hopefully, you know, you have better internet than I do. So what else can you do after successfully deploying to the EC2 instance? Well, there's something called the Elastic IP, which will give you um, basically a static IP address, and you can associate that with your old domain name. So you don't have to use that long gibberish DNS host name. Um, also, you can look into hardening security for both uh, the operating system and also Glassfish. And lastly, you can build anything you want. This is, after all, a sandbox. Oh, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up on Twitter at Wesley Fang. Also, I'm going to be posting the console commands on my blog, westfang.wordpress.com. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching.